Well, hello, hello, all my amazing Libra friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing our April 23rd tarot. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? Now, there are a couple things. One, I apologize for the boy in the background. Don't have a workspace yet, so he's playing Kingdom Hearts. Two, I um, pre-shuffled all these cards, so... And they were supposed to be out yesterday, but I got so tired of talking to the camera because I did over 48 hours of talking to the camera, which is a little excessive, right? But by the time I got um, done with, I think, Leo's yesterday, I was just like, I'm just going to start typing. <laughs> so I was trying to finish my book. Now, the second is, is that I've got these separated into three piles, three cards. Um, one card represents past, one card represents pu um, future future and one is the present okay i said that out of order that's okay then i have three clarifiers per each and i put them in order as of past present future see i'm getting better i'm a little bit tongue-tied today now your past energy is the temperance card now libras this card signifies balance alchemy and cooperation now missing human blood with zombie blood is typically a recipe for disaster but a certain controlled circumstances the results could yield a miracle vaccine now the the temperance card calls for balance and compromise. You Libras, yes all of you, need to get closer to your enemy. Now if you are going to to understand what makes him or her tick, and you may need to join together to resolve your differences, all right? Now your first clarifier for your past energy is the four of wands. The Four of Wands signifies reward, prosperity, and celebrations. Now, take a load off, my friend. The Four of Wands gives you permission to attend a ce ce celebration. Blah. Like with family and friends. Or invade a celebration and eat your family and friends. Now, the plans that you've made are set in motion. This is a time to rest up for the challenges ahead. Your second clarifier is the Nine of Swords. Paranoia, anxiety, and hopelessness. Now, worry has you in its grip, and you, you're you feeling frantic about your future. The Nine of Swords reminds us that while our fears may try to overwhelm us, the situate, like, we are near an end of the cycle, and we will be able to carry on. Now, the, now don't forget to take things slowly, because the situation isn't as bad as you might imagine, and you'll come out in the other end stronger than before. You know... With everything going on, I mean, we were very anxious. We're just tired of the past, tired of hearing about past lovers coming back, right? Now, the third clarifier is the Devil card. Temptation, excess, and self-destruction. That's what signifies this card. Now, in a world turned upside down, no one will blame you for indulging in a couple of vices. In fact, that's exactly what the Devil wants you to do. Why bother to restore law and order when you can unwind with a few smokes? Why rescue children from an orphanage when it's easier to kick back with a pint of whiskey? Well, the answer is to both questions is the same. Now, Libra, it's because you are better than that, all right? You can overcome any, any, any bad energy, right? You've got this. Your current energy right now is the world. This means that want? with our past, we have learned our lessons, the end of one journey in, in its completion. That way we can continue on with a new journey. Now Libras, it's the end of the cycle as the world goes up in flames. Our two lovers are safe in their fallout shelter. Ready to meet the new day and begin the fool's journey all over again. The world represents the achievement of a goal or the end of a stage in your life. Where, you do, where do you go from here? Well, let me tell you something, Libra. Where do you go from here? Leave me a comment and let me know. Because you decide where you're going, right? You decide what kind of energy that you're going to put up with. And I just see great things for you up ahead. You have no idea. Or do you? I love when readers are like, you have no idea this is going around you. And then you're sitting there watching it and you're like, well, yes, I do. You just told me I don't. <laughs> Why am I watching you if you're telling me I don't? <laughs> the fuck I don't. I do. You just told me. <laughs> I'm looking out for this stuff. <laughs> anyway, your first clarifier is judgment, alright? This card signifies 
Karma, acceptance, and responsibilities. There's a tough decision to be made, and you're the one with the finger on the button. You understand that your actions determine your path through this crazy world, and you're ready to put that knowledge to good use. You have what it takes to drop the bomb, but you must be willing to accept the consequences of your decisions. I almost said destruction. Should have said annihilation. Just kidding. <laughs> Ignore me. Well, that part anyway. <laughs> I'm being weird. Your second clarifier is the Ten of Swords. This card signifies disaster, rotten ruin, and destruction. I don't know if you can see it, but everybody's pulling at him. And he's he's there with a machete trying to defend himself. Now, you, Libra, have come to the end of a line, and this certainly isn't the outcome that you'd hope for. Betrayal, disappointment, and despair cloud your attitude. But these feelings won't last forever. The Ten of Swords reminds us that sometimes we need to ca cast old interests aside and start over. If you can't beat them, then join them. Your third clarifier is the Eight of Hazards. Hazards is another word for coins. Well, in my deck, it's, it's it means coins or pentacles. But because my deck is a zombie deck, it is under hazards, okay? So if you're wondering, isn't that cool? I love the art. This card signifies invention, ingenuity, and new approach. The Eight of Hazards demonstrates the need to think outside of the pressurized expansion tank. If a current endeavor is failing or stalling, try rewiring the brain to explore new possibilities and different angles. Don't return to the same tactics over and over. You need to put your talents and imagination to better use. Now, we're going to get going on your future. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you about your future, which is not set in stone. Okay, you decide where you go. You are a time traveler like I am. Everybody is. Time goes forward, right? It never goes backwards. Because if it went backwards, then we'd be going backwards. And this wouldn't exist. <gasps> oh! Yeah, I had a moment. Yes, I did. Anyway. <laughs> so, like, you can... You know, you, you can't go back and be like, oh, God, I gotta change that. Let's get in the DeLorean. Anybody got a DeLorean? Let's get in the DeLorean and head back with Doc Brown. No, we can't do that because that doesn't exist It's as of yet. Someday, though. I'm just saying, someday. Um, but, <laughs> but basically, um, you can decide where you want to go. You can listen to this future reading and you can decide, well, that sounds pretty good. Okay, I guess that's happening. Or... You can go, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to change this shit. Next time she reads me my cards, they're going to be completely different. Because I am moving and choosing where I want to go and how I want things to be. Because you are the maker of your creations, right? All thanks to the Lord, right? Now, um, after I get done telling you this, we're going to recap, okay? This is your pu future energy the Two of Swords. Oh man, I don't know why you'd want to use any of those. Those were both really loud. I would have stolen Michonne's machete. I'm just saying. Just kidding. It was a machete. It was a katana. <laughs> I bet I psyched out a lot of people. They were like, shut up. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> this card signifies indecision, difficult decisions, and different views. Now, you've Libra, you've trapped between two choices as the zombies approach. The shotgun or the handy chainsaw. You both like that you bought for the for emergencies. You, now yeah. you may you may be procrastinating, alright? Because you lack information. Dig a little deeper to learn all you can, but do not wait too long before making a decision. You can't hold back these zombies forever. You probably could if you really wanted to. It's all about ingenuity, right? But Ultimately, you want to make this decision, get it over with. It. That way you can continue on with your success. Your first clarifier is the Two of Cups. This card signifies harmony, balance, and compromise. Now, Libra, representing the union of two people, the Two of Cups speaks of a happy balance between two parties who can finally sit down at the dinner table without fighting. After all, what's a minor zombie infection among friends? This could be the beginning of a budding romance. Yeah. Sorry about the kid. Your second clarifier is the Knight of Wands. I always think he looks like Billy the Kid. I'm just saying. <laughs> this card signifies bold, impetuous, and adventure. Now, the Knight of Wands holds back n nothing. He's the first one through the fence, bringing back goodie bags for the slowpokes. 
his brash behavior may get him into trouble, but he's uh, able to charm himself out of most shenanigans. Come on! Really? Yeah. Come on. I'm he... trying to beat her up. I'm doing it great. Kingdom Hearts. He was trying to beat somebody up. It was like a possessed doll. Anyway, this one, he manages to show up at the right place at the right time. So don't hesitate to ask him for favors. If you need a little extra something, all right? Now your third and final clarifier is the justice card. Now, this signifies impartiality, fairness, and equality. Now, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth takes on an entirely new meaning in the midst of human zombie war. Thankfully, you can count on justice to right the wrongs, restore harmony, and offer a karmic slap to the back of the head of those who deserve it. Fight the good fight, but do not be on the other end of that slap, okay? So, let's recap real quick, because I've noticed that this is pretty accurate. It resonates with me. I don't know if it resonates with any of you. So, you're dealing with um, a fire sign, or you just, maybe you have fire in your chart. I know that I'm a full-blown Libra, but one of the other signs in my chart is fire, so, you know, for Sagittarius. But, um, yeah, so you're balanced, yet, you know, you're very cooperative, and, you know, you're doing the alchemy thing, right? But then, you know, you got your reward, your prosperity, you're celebrating with family and friends, but then you're also within, deep within your soul, you're feeling paranoia, anxiety, hopelessness. You feel like someone's watching you 24-7. You know, you don't want to post anything online because you're afraid that someone's going to see it. You know, and you're just, you're tired of feeling like eyes are constantly on you. There she is. I'm going For the to past, make you a Whoa. Oh. This past person was the, this past person was the devil energy. This past energy was the devil energy, right? Very tempting, given access, and then you're rooted to self-destruction. Maybe they they started some shit with you that... Do you want to see what he's doing? I don't know if you can see it. He's beating up a girl. <laughs> Not a real girl. I'm not going to teach him how to be a woman hater. Woman hater. Anyway, he has respect for girls. And all rights to that go to that game, okay? Now, um, <laughs> I was just trying to explain what we're listening to him bitch about. He's got headphones on. He can't hear me. But that person from your past, they, they were very negative Nancy. And they were trying to see you into ruin, okay? They couldn't have you. Nobody could. They wanted to bring you down. And so that pulls up the present energy, which is the world. Your lessons learned, your end of that journey and its completion, and the beginning of something new, you know, a broader horizon. You've got so much going for you, right? Now, in order to continue on, you had to pull out the judgment and accept the responsibility on your part about the karma that was dealt you and them. And you not feel bad about it because, you know, your angels are looking out for you. They are. Now, your second clarifier is the Ten of Swords, which is disaster, rotten ruin, and destruction. Well, you feel like this is what's going on behind the scene. You, your soul feels this way. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of bullshit. And, and you're also seeing, you know, the temporary chaos of everybody with their face masks on, freaking out. Not to mention, like, where you're at. If you are at where I'm at, you know, you're dealing with aftershocks for the last month or so that are, like, 4.0. <laughs> right? But, um, but, yeah, you're just trying to fight for yourself and your family, basically. And then you get the aid of hazards, which is invention, ingenuity, and you're coming at things with a new approach, which is great, Libra. Now, for your future, you know, you've got... You've got a difficult decisions. You're dealing with different views and the indecision of life. You know, they always say that us Libras are very indecisive, but it's not that at all. We know what we want, but we have to actually outweigh in our head pros and cons of everything. We actually think about what we're going to say and how we're going to say it to who we're going to say it without walking on eggshells or kissing their ass or being a complete asshole. See, we like to 
a lot of us, because people think that we're a very weak sign and they, they misunderstand us completely, right? Until we're pissed off and then everything goes black and craziness comes out of us. But um, ultimately, we're very decisive, but we have to see, you know, we got to weigh out the pros and cons. We That's why we take a little bit longer to make decisions. And then sometimes it doesn't take us but a split second to make a decision because we don't have a whole lot weighing on our mind. And we don't, you know, we're always thinking about the past, present, and future all together. And it's crazy. Now, the first clarifier to that, that indecisiveness that we're feeling because we're a little bit, you know, shooken up with everything. Maybe it's because someone was coming back. I don't know. But, you know, we got the Two of Cups. Maybe settling the shit, you know, or moving on. Either way, whatever we do, harmony and balance and compromise come back into play. And then there's the Knight of Wands who, you know, this could be our energy or someone else's energy. Where we're bold, impetuous, and adventure or someone else's that, right? And they're very kind. But then, ultimately, in the end, no one can outrun karma, right? And, you know... There's good karma and bad karma. We can't even run out. You know, we take justice very seriously because that is in our heart, in our soul, us, right? We decide, you know, what we're going to do. So we're trying to be fair, trying to give out equality, understand everybody from their perspectives, which a lot of people there, they don't think about, you know, when they, they fight with someone, they don't think about what's going on with that person to make them cause or the chaos around them. So you look at two people fighting and, you know, one person's telling you, oh, well, this person, they're blah, 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 they don't blah, 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 you know? And you go, well, did you ever consider, you know, that they work hard, that they're tired from working, that the reason why they drink a little bit more is because you won't shut the fuck up and let them talk? You know? That when they, when they triple down on them beers and suddenly that juice gives them liquid courage and they say shit and they fuck up their you know, their, their pentacles, you know what I mean? Because they're not able to speak up for themselves when they're sober. Because the other person's like, blah, 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 blah. and when they go start to ask something or talk, this goes, oh, shut up, you're interrupting me, blah, 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 blah. And this person's like, well, I'm going to go see that beer, you know? You know what I mean? There's no equality. They don't understand that the reason why that person is drinking so much has to do with the fact that they will shut up and let them talk. And they're just trying, they're overstressed with everything, like, you know what I mean? Um. But, anyway, whoever hurt you, they're gonna slap to the back of the head, and if nobody hurt you, then, you know, you might be dealing with a, a form of justice yourself, if you were in your negative, you know? Which, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of us aren't super in our negative. We try to be positive and help people out, but when someone makes a Libra snap, we fucking snap, like... I mean, we can recover from that. We step out of the Empress, Empress, Emperor mode, and we step into the swords. You know, the Queen of Swords. We're, we're just like cut them down and keep going. Like we, and we defend people. And people get mad for us taking sides, but it's not that we choose one person over the other. We just we decide to pick which facts rule out. Does that make sense? You know, like you know, t those two yeah. people are fighting. When I stand up and I stand up for the drinker. You can't do that. They're drinking. Blah, blah, blah. They're in the wrong. Well, well, did you ever think of that you were the cause of them drinking? You know? And why are you telling me that I can't defend them? I would defend you if they were in the wrong. You know what I mean? We do that. And that's why we get in trouble. Because we put down facts. We're very truthful. And sometimes the truth hurts. But isn't it better to be truthful and honest than to walk on eggshells and then later it blows up? in everybody's faces, right? Now, I love you. This is a really long reading. I usually get it done under 10 minutes. Now, I love you. I will see you for tomorrow's daily horoscope or the next tarot reading, okay? Keep being awesome. Bye, beautifuls.